Welcome back, welcome back Wagwan my people. Today I'm going to show you how to make pan steered Alaskan wild caught salmon and I've paired it with cream cauliflower, sauteed shiitake mushrooms and spinach. This is a healthy dish guys I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Stay tuned. Now the reason why I'm using the Alaskan wild caught salmon because it's more healthy than the farm raised salmon. In terms of the farm raised salmon have more fat and the Alaskan salmon, wild caught salmon have less fat. And it's also brighter in terms of color. Alright so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to brine my salmon. And brining is a process of just pretty much adding the salmon to some water with salt and lemon and let it sit for about 15 minutes. Now it's good to always brine your salmon guys especially for salmon. You want to brine it before you cook it. So that way after you cook it it becomes more juicy and it also adds flavor to your salmon. Alright so you could add about two cups of water and then I'm going to add about two tablespoons of salt. So I'm going to use some sea salt so you pretty much just want to brine your salmon before you cook it and then I'm going to add some lemon juice so trust me guys if you do this process before you cook your salmon it's going to add extra flavor to it so what you want to do is you want to add it and just let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Just let it sit with the water, the lemon and the salt. Alright so I took the salmon out of the brine. What I'm going to do now I'm going to dry it. So you can use a paper towel and dry it as much as you can just to get rid of the excess water. So what I'm going to do now I'm going to season it with some all-purpose seasoning and you want to make sure you season as much as you can all sides. And then I'm going to add some, some sea salt. I'm going to add some whole black pepper. So this is going to come out so good guys. Alright so now I'm going to let it sit for about 5 minutes. And then I'm going to start the cooking. Alright so I'm going to start the salmon, like I said before I'm going to pair my salmon with cream cauliflower, salted broccoli and salted mushroom. So I've added about 2 tablespoons of olive oil and I'm using a non-stick frying pan for my salmon. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and start my cream cauliflower. So I'm going to use heavy cream and add about about quarter cup of heavy cream. Then I'm going to add about half teaspoon of sea salt, about half teaspoon of black pepper and about a pinch of, of cayenne pepper, so just a little bit of cayenne pepper. And I'll post the recipe at the end so you guys can actually see. I'm going to add my cauliflower and you just let it cook for about about 10 minutes uh, I'm just gonna use the middle stove so my cauliflower can cook quicker alright so now I'm gonna start the salmon so guys when you're doing the salmon what you wanna do you wanna make sure the oil is hot and then when you drop your salmon you wanna drop the salmon away from you so just in case the salmon slip the oil doesn't splash on you. You want to drop it away from you. Alright so I'm going to sear two sides. I'm going to sear two sides for about a minute and then I'm going to pop it in the oven and allow it to cook for about five minutes. I'm going to add my shiitake mushrooms. So when you add your mushroom what you want to do you want to make sure that you get it golden brown 
and then you add your spinach. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pick my salmon. So like I said guys, I'm going to cook my salmon in the oven and allow it to cook for about, about 7 minutes. Alright, so I'm going to add some butter. You just want to make it a little bit brown. Have you guys ever tried mushrooms? I love to have mushrooms when I'm when I'm doing a spinach. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some spinach. And I hope you guys are enjoying my videos, my content, and feel free to comment, let me know what dish you would like me to do in the future at some point. Alright, so I'm gonna add some black pepper I'm going to add some garlic powder and just let this saute for a minute so this is a quick recipe guys and it doesn't take a long time to prepare it doesn't take a long time to cook I'm going to check on my cauliflower Slowly coming along. Have you guys ever tried cream cauliflower? You could saute it if you want, but if you want to try something different, you could also cook it with heavy cream. Alright, I'm going to check on my salmon. It's just about almost finished. By the way, how do you guys like your salmon? For me, I like it medium or medium well. So what I'm going to do now, I like to finish off my salmon with some, some butter, some thyme and some garlic. So you add about 4 or 5 cloves of garlic to add some butter and some thyme. Now this will add just some extra flavor to your salmon, you don't have to, but if you want, you can. So pretty much you just try to get the juice flowing over your salmon. Trust me guys, if you follow this process, your salmon is going to come out so moist and so good. Because oftentimes when you cook a salmon, if you overdo it, then it's going to get a little bit hard. Unless you like your salmon well done. But for me, I think the best or the preferred temperature is either medium or medium well. So my salmon is just about finished guys, and this is a pan seared Alaskan salmon. So I hope you guys enjoy this dish, this recipe, and if you actually try it, give me feedback and let me know if you like it and how it come out for you. So I want to thank you guys again for the continued support, I want to thank you guys for subscribing and I want to thank you guys for checking back in. So again, thank you and have a good one.